Hey YouTube, it's me Turft, and I'm here with a guide on how to load any ROM to your HTC G2 um, using ROM Manager. Okay. Now, here I have a rooted and ROM loaded HTC G2. It's running the latest um, Gingerbread, if it will focus. I mean, not Gingerbread, but um, Sense. I don't know which actual firmware it's running. And turn up the brightest brightness. I don't know if you can see that. But anyway, there's two preliminary things you need in order to um, load software such as um, that isn't native to the um, phone. You need to root it, and you need ROM Manager from the market. It doesn't have to be the um, plus version; just the ROM Manager. So what you're going to do is open up ROM Manager, if I can find it, here, I'm trying to see if I can get that to show up, uh, there, so you open up ROM Manager. and you flash clockwork mod. I already did it, but I'm going to do it again. Ask for root permission. That's the reason why it needs to be rooted. So you press allow. Wait a little bit. Successfully flash clockwork recovery. So after that, then you download any ROM you want. Basically, either if you want gingerbread or anything of the sort, then you just download the ROM from here. If you have premium, it lets you download premium ROMs, but if not, you can download the free ones. They're, I will say, better because they're more stable. But, um, you download a ROM, any ROM, and then in order to boot back up into recovery, either it lets you from the power menu, which is right here, it says restart, and then recovery, which probably won't happen unless you have a custom ROM loaded, or you can restart the phone and I'll show you that right now right now I can't do it um, unless I did a battery pull and that would take too long basically you would um take the battery out um, put it back in hold the volume down button and um, think hold the power button for like five seconds it doesn't take very long and then um use their um volume rockers to go down to um recovery click recovery actually i should show you hold on because it's a very it's complicated but it's simple again i won't be showing you how to root in this video mostly because i don't have access to a computer right now so you're going to take the battery out, put it back in, as such, this battery cover, hold the volume down first, then the power button, show you this menu, do all that loading, go down to recovery, press the power button to select, I will show you the HTC screen, no it's not rebooting, it's taking you into clockwork recovery. After that, you should see this menu. You can use either the optical pad to scroll around or the volume rockers. The optical pad is faster, by the way. Um, you have to wipe data in factory reset. That's like the biggest part. Then you choose... Wait, no. First you go to install zip from SD card. Choose zip, and then you find wherever you saved it to. If you downloaded it from ROM Manager, it would most likely be in um, Clockwork Recovery or Clockwork Mod. Yeah, Clockwork Mod, and then download. And it should be in one of these. Look around for it. It's a basic file system. But I'm gonna reboot now. Show you. Um, but there are thousands of. I'm not even thousands. That was an exaggeration. But there are hundreds of ROMs you can download, um, stable or not, um, that'll 
I can't exactly tell you which one is the best because each one is for different people. Um, if you're a sense person, there are sense rums. If you're a gingerbread person, they have stock gingerbread rums. Um, that has been leaked for this phone. That should be out officially in the next few weeks. Um, here's how it boots up. Pretty regular. And then it'll take you through the setup screen um, that most Android phones do have when you get them new. So, um, basically that is the installation method for ROM on the, um, HTC G2. Um, if you have any other questions, um, as far as the boot up time on the first ROM, um, it usually takes longer than usual. Just give it a little bit and, um, it should start up regularly. Or, um, just restart the ROM. And if you have, um, Simple Mobile, um, which I do. Most ROMs have um, an auto APN thing, which basically you go to settings, mobile um, settings, wireless and networks, mobile networks, and then you go to access point names, and it should have the simple mobile APNs already loaded. Some do, some don't, and um, you have to put them in manually. But, um, that's how you load Gingerbread, and thanks for viewing.